Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to transfer your Wix website to Editor X in 2023. Wix and Editor X are both powerful website builders that offers different features and customization options. So, if you've been using Wix and want to switch to Editor X, we'll guide you through the process. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's just start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. And of course, before transferring your website, it's important to create a backup of your Wix website. So simply go to wix.com or type in the URL section wix.com. And simply, if you don't know much about Wix, you can scroll down and read all the information in the history about it. And of course, if you have an account, make sure to go and click on login. But if you don't have an account, click on get started to create an account for yourself. And of course, you can even use, as you can see, Google, Facebook, or Apple for logging in or even creating your account so you don't go through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in your account. Once you do so, you will normally find yourself right here or you'll find yourself having access to your website. So, as we said, before transferring your website, it's important to create a backup for your Wix website. So, this, of course, will ensure that you have a copy of your website contents, design, and settings. And to create a backup, once you're logged in into your account, you will have to navigate to your website dashboard and look for an option to export or download your website. And, of course, you will have to follow the instructions provided by Wix to generate a backup file, which may be in a compressed format like zip. So there's the owner or the option of transfer ship the ownership of a Wix website. As an example, let's just go to this website. We can click on this three dots and as you can see, you will find the transfer site option. If you click on it, you will have to simply enter the email address of the, uh, the recipients of that you want to become the owner of this website. And of course, the, the website will be transferred to his account. But uh, this is just going to be for Wix users. But if you want to transfer it to an Editor X, as I said, you will have to go and download the content as a zip file or whatever file is going to be provided by Wix. Once you do so, you will have, of course, to go and set up an uh, Editor X account. Go and open a new tab, go to editorx.com and hit the enter button. And of course, again, if you don't, if you're not familiar with this, you can scroll down and read all the information about it as an example and of course again if you have an account just log into it but if you don't you can simply go and click on start now and simply sign up into your account and again you can use google or facebook if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of uh, logging in or even creating your account in. so for me i'm just going to log in or create my account with uh, uh, google as you can see here so once you're logged in into your account or you just created your account you'll normally find yourself here so let's just wait for the page until it loads if you just created your account you'll find yourself here so you'll have to answer some questions uh, so i'm just going to answer here some questions as an example so they can help you of course setting up your account as an example and of course as you can see you cannot uh, skip those steps so you will have to go and do it by your own as an example we can do it through here so for you you will have to set up an editor x account and once you're in the dashboard you'll be able to import your wix website to editor x and you will be normally good to go so of course maybe later i'm just going to click on i got it and here I would like to get into the dashboard. Let's just see if it's possible. Yeah, here we are on the dashboard. So as you can see, I already have the websites that I have on my Wix on Editor X. Why? Because Editor X and Wix websites are using kind of the same thing. So as you can see, already the, the website that I have here are the same on Wix. So if you have, of course, if you that if you logged in with the same email, as example, because as you can see, I have here the same account on both Wix and Editor X. But if you are not, of course, using the same email, you can always go here and click on transfer site. And this will give you the option of entering another email address if you have like another email address on Editor X. And of course, if you connect it like your account on Editor X, you will have this option of, as example, if you go to Wix, uh, or, or if you go to Editor uh, X, and as you can see, you'll find the option of rebuild on Editor X if you want to. So, for example, if you build your website already on Wix and you transfer it onto your Editor X, you'll be able to rebuild it in Editor X if Wix is not uh, enough for you on editing and stuff.
of course if you have your zip file you can always go and import this zip file and this will just get for you a site like this one and once you get it you'll have to go and customize and fine-tune your website with editor x so once it's imported you can start customizing it's fine-tuning uh, of course with editor x offers like advanced design and layout features allowing you to refine your website appearance and functionality you can explore the editor x editors uh, which may have uh, a different interface compared to wix uh, and make of course adjustment to your website's design layout and content so make sure to take advantage of the enhanced customization option and flexibility provided by editor x so i'm just going here to uh, my website click on edit sites and of course i'll be able to edit it with the uh, editor x uh, of course as you can see editor.wix it's kind of the same but it's advanced just a little bit once you of course finish your editing you can always preview your changes and uh, publish it so as you can see that's going to be my wix website i can go always and use uh, the ed the editing section here on this list panel as you can see you'll be able to add some text image button stripe decorative box and a lot of other stuff of course i can even go and add some sections some pages if i want to as you can see I'll find here a lot of pages like home, login, and sign up, fact, uh, contacts, about us, location, reviews, and a lot of other pages that I can see from here. As you can see, I'll find here the size menu, sign up, and login. So a lot of pages. So of course, I can even go and add like uh, some pages. They will give me some uh, themes that I can use as an example if I want to. As you can see, we have here some profile, grid, team, overlapping. There are some pages that I can use, uh, of course, on this theme. If I don't want to, you can even go and add like some blank page if i want to and i'll be able to edit whatever i want on it i'll have to give it a name and click on done and i'll be good to go of course i'll be able to uh, give this site some design i can add some apps if i want to and lots of other stuff that i'll be able to do on the editor uh, x editor of course as i said it's gonna be like the wix uh, editor but it's gonna be just a little bit advanced so of course if you reach this point of this video congratulations you have successfully transferred your wix website to editor x in 2023 so by creating of course a backup of your wix website and setting up like ed editor x account importing your uh, website editor or simply just transferring the ownership from wix to editor x you will be normally uh, good to go of course if after you're publishing your website you made the transitions to a new website building platforms so we hope this tutorial has been helpful to you of course thank you for watching if you're facing any issues you can always go and to the support of wix or editor x and check with them if you have any problem or you can go down to the comment section and i'll come back to you as soon as possible so if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe for our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one and i will see you in the next video